the jail was built in 1875. It's a second empire style building. We have our local legend, which is Charles Butler getting hung back in 1880. He shot his wife, killed her. What is a haunt and why do people pay to get scared? It's an activity we do to get your adrenaline going. We've designed sets and uh, gags to get you to jump, scream, laugh, maybe sometimes pee your pants. <laughs> Uh, it's designed to get your heart pumping. I'm a little scared of that. I'm you a little scared be. of that. <laughs> you should be. But you're not going to die. Not going to die. Uh, we're not one of those haunts that's going to jump out and grab you. And uh, we're a no-touch haunt. Things will touch you. Nothing alive will touch you. Even though this is like seasonal Halloween time, what do you guys do like throughout the rest of the year to prepare? What are you doing to prepare for this? Gotcha. We start in January. We do our evaluations in January. And then uh, we wait till the snow melts. And as soon as the snow melts or begins to melt, we get in here and we start our new builds. We try to revamp about 80% of the haunt every year. We try to add new big uh, rooms and sets every single year. You're an artist, correct? So yes, this is kind of part of like your art a bit. Right. So I own the airbrush shop in Fort Wayne. I was in Glenbrook Mall for about 10 years. And when I got here to the jail about 20 years ago, I just thought, what a great mesh of art, set design. <laughs> and then I'm originally from New Orleans, so I'm a big voodoo Mardi Gras guy. So it just seemed like a natural mesh to me to get all the art and the voodoo and the scares. It's just, this is, I feel like I'm home yeah. when I'm here. It was a pretty big year for you guys last year, was it? Absolutely. You guys were number five on USA Today, uh, most haunted house in the country. How did that feel to get that? It, that? Was, it was the biggest honor we've had. Uh, you know, the writers come through and they go through every haunt in every area they can get their hands on. We got nominated in the top 20 and then it goes to a national haunt, a national vote rather, and uh, the people decide. So when that vote finally came to fruition, it was we ended up number five nationally. So the top five haunt in America is for right here in Columbia City. It's huge for us. So we we absolutely try to live up to it. Every every minute we try to not rest on our laurels. We try to earn that number five every minute. Ah! 